Miles McConish airs this morning at the top of the hour, as he said, 9 a.m. Eastern. So keep it right here. Before that, though, we want to talk about this new film that opens this weekend. It's about two teens who fall in love at the same time that they're fighting to live. Yeah, it's called The Fault in Our Stars. Uh, here's a clip. Oh, You're a real story. Uh, What's your full name? Hazel Grace Lancaster. Because you're beautiful. Gus, I'm a grenade. One day I'm going to blow up and I'm going to obliterate everything in my wake. You know, Gus talks about you all the time. We're just friends. I'm in love with you, Hazel Grace. And this movie is adapted from John Green's best selling book of the same name. Actress Shailene Woodley plays Hazel Grace Lancaster a teen living with thyroid cancer who falls in love with Augustus Waters, who's also battling cancer. Hazel and Gus meet at a support group. Now, Hazel's character is inspired by the real-life story of Esther Grace Earl, a Massachusetts teen who lost her battle to cancer uh, in 2010. She was just 16 years old. Esther's parents, Lori and Wayne Earl, join us now from Boston uh, for this exclusive interview. Thank you so much for uh, joining us Thank this you. morning. Thank you for having us. Yeah, great to be here. First question, what did you think of the movie? Uh, it was amazing. Uh, we got to see it at the New York premiere uh, on June 3rd. And being in that uh, theater with all kinds of fans who laughed and cried together was, was pretty awesome. I, oh, I know. loved it. It was a great movie. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say it was a great movie and it was... We made sure that we had our bucket full of Kleenex with us, so <laughs> we were fine. I think a lot of people are going to need that same thing. Now, I know that author John Green, you know, he talks about your daughter on his YouTube channel, how she was such a, an inspiring person. How, have you talked with him about the movie? And I, I'm wondering what it means to you to have your daughter personified in it. Uh, we're having Esther, um, she, you know, John's always said that she was really, it, the story is not about her, it's a novel about a teen named Hazel, but that he was very much inspired by Esther and his friendship with her and, um, you know, her empathy as a teenager gave him, you know, the voice that he really was kind of looking for in his story. You know, the story, uh, Lori, uh, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, no, go, go ahead. Uh, the story uh, I was partly just say, you know, this is going to happen because we've got a delay, <laughs> but I'm going to let you go ahead. Wade. You take it. You take it. Wade. <laughs> no, uh, well, I, I was just going to say we're we're uh, we're taking our sons to see it this weekend and, uh, you know, a little concerned about them seeing it beforehand. But after seeing the movie ourselves, uh, you know, our young son was seven, uh, six when Esther passed away. And he's certainly going to conflate uh, Esther and Hazel Grace. And and that's a good thing. That's it's a, a good, good thing. thing. Yeah. Lori, the part of this story explores um, the character Hazel's relationship with her mother. How closely does this mirror your relationship with, with Esther? Uh, I think there's, there's a lot of parallels. Uh, John not only gets the voice of Esther, uh, the teenager, and Gus the teenager, but he gets the voice of the parents. Uh, maybe he's a parent now himself, and so he puts, maybe, maybe he gets, um, he's just more in tune with those kinds of emotions. And yeah, I think that he, one of the scenes that just really riveted me was where there's a time in the movie, no spoilers, for those of you who haven't seen it yet, but there's a time when Hazel um, is upset at her mom and she says, um, and, and she's, she's worried about what's going to happen if she dies. And her mom says, you know, Hazel, um, you of anybody should know that it's, oh, it's possible to live with pain. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, that's just, that's, that's what it's like to be a parent with a, a child that's sick. So, yeah, he gets, he gets that voice really well. Do you, I, we're so sorry um, that you lost your daughter. Uh, I, as a parent, I just, I can't even, I can't even fathom it. I'm wondering um, how you feel seeing her on that screen you know, and, and what you hope people will get from the story itself. I, it was it was it was wonderful to see the film, to read the book. Um, you know, we had we had uh, we had Esther for 16 years, an amazing life, and uh, seeing the film, especially when the father is uh, carrying his daughter, and uh, those were real life experiences for me. 
I, I don't, yeah, we don't want to give away too much, but it's, it's in the book. But, uh, you know, to we had Esther in the hospital here, and uh, there was a time we thought we were going to lose her, and the nurses seemed to be unconcerned and nonchalant. And uh, I was with her alone for a few minutes, uh, thinking that my daughter was leaving us, uh, and I sobbed. And, uh, and uh, you know, I can't go into the, what we shared, but I can say that she was the one who was comforting me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so she promised, she said, Wayne, I, Daddy, I don't want you to be sad. I don't want mm-hmm. you to go on sad. And I said, well, your example of courage and bravery will, uh, will give me the strength to go on. And, uh, and I think Hazel Grace has that same spirit. And the exactly. Fault in Our Stars has that same powerful message. Oh, mm-hmm. it's wow. wonderful to know that that was uh, included in, in this film. It is not just a big Hollywood premiere, but it really grabs the essence of, of, of Esther. Uh, Lori and Wayne Earl, thank you so much for for spending some time with us this morning. Thank, Thank you. you very much for having us. Take your we tissues. It. Yeah, we, we promise we will. Thank you so much. And New Day's gonna be back in just a moment. You know that dream? I need the rugs to do it. I'm accused this person. You can't open that safe. On my count. The one where you step up and save the day? Make it happen. Introducing Verizon.